hello welcome back to my channel and today we are on the dream address and island of nedia which is the famous console kato's island so if you don't know who console kato is she is an amazing youtuber and island designer she does the most amazing islands and her streams and her videos are so relaxing you could honestly just sit and chill and watch them for hours she's it's just a relaxing vibe so if you haven't checked her out then please go and check her out subscribe to her show her some love and i will link her channel and also this dream address up below so i'm sure this is her farm court island and yeah let's go and check this amazing island out okay so kato has left us a set of ladders and she has also left us a present which is one of her famous boo rags if you follow her you will know the character that she has wears these two rags all the time so she has left us one to wear also so we're going to head down to the airport first so that i feel like that would just be a really good place to start because as i say kato's islands are usually quite jam-packed full of amazing stuff i'm going to try and show as much as possible i'm hoping i don't miss anything but i will also as i say link the dream address below and you can come visit it yourself so let's look at her map first so as you can see there's a lot of terraforming and waterscaping and she has two residents which means she has two houses and she also has as villagers bill goldie meringue little poppy lolly queenie freckles fauna who is one of my dreamies Bo, who is also one of my dreamies and who i also have on one of my islands and Lionel. So as you step off the plane you have a little seating area where you could sit and come read some books if you're waiting on a plane or maybe waiting on someone you can just sit here and read some books and then you have a little apple orchard to, to come pick and eat some apples. And then up here we have another little seating area. I love those little jugs. Love them. And you have able sisters, so you can imagine the able sisters sitting out here sewing on a really nice day. Again, this is kind of farm, cottage core. I really love it. It's really chilled. You could just come and sit and read and chill out. I love those little baskets as well. Okay, and then we're going to go round this way, I think, first. That kettle. Oh, look at the little duck as well. Cute. And we are at one of the villagers' houses. This is Freckles. And here we have a little farm, a little flower farm. So I think most of the villagers kind of on this island, they have their own little kind of farms and things like that. Little things that they're growing, little crops, flowers. Here's a little lavender farm as well. Oh, a little, I love that pie. A little picnic area. I never know what to put on my beaches. Never know what to put on them. I always struggle. A little sewing area as well. I think the flowers is such a good idea. There's Todd looking out on the sea. Again, a little writing area where they can come and write. Get inspired for some books. Oh, I like this. A little strawberry. A little strawberry farm. And we're back here again by the, the little duck pond. So we're going to come up here. And we have another little villager house. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, they're all kind of growing their own little things. <laughs> On their own little farms. Go up here first. A little tool area. And as you can see here, they've got a little pumpkin farm also. Nice little table and chairs there. Okay, 
Then we have a little B area, which I absolutely love. I really want to interpret one of these on my new island, my fairy island. I'm wanting a little kind of beehive area because I really love that item. They're so cute. We have a little silo and barrel kind of farm area. Again, a lot of farming, a lot of things growing, which is super, super nice. This must be Kato's house. Gonna go over this wee rope bridge. Yeah, so again, like there's this little bee farm little bee area which I absolutely love as I say this is something I kind of want to interpret in my islands as well because I just love the beehives a little fishing area and tool place and then another little place where you can come and collect fruit so there's all different trees here all different fruit trees little picnic area again so again, as I've said, Kato's Island are just so kind of, they're so chilled and you could just come and relax. A lot of picnic areas, a lot of farming areas. It just really reminds you of being in the country and I just absolutely love it. Again, you can collect some fruit, make some smoothies. And then along here we have Nook's Cranny. I love I love the outside of here. I love how she's set it all out. Again, so relaxing, but it's still got that nice kind of a lot. It's still got a lot of stuff, a lot of things to look at. Suitcase. I actually got that suitcase the other day from the maze event, media event. I was really chuffed with that. I actually really, really like it. Piano up here. We can come up here, have a picnic, and play some music. Got some Festivali balloons. I love the butterfly models, also. Then we have more villager areas as well, where again they are growing their own little, they're growing their own little crops. Another favourite item of mine, which I do use in a lot of my islands, is the washing lines. I'm really gutted because I don't have the DIY for it for my new island yet, so, like, I really, really need it. I need it. But I do put them absolutely everywhere, so maybe not having it is a good thing because, you know, I can't put them everywhere. <laughs> oh, look at the little glass. The little glass of wine or juice. Again, more little libraries. So I am going quite fast, quite through the island because again, there is so much to see and you know, it's just a quick island tour. It's just to give you a little idea and you know, if you're inspired to go there and have a look yourself and explore, then do that because as I say, she is such an amazing creator and even just checking out our videos, they're just amazing. So she's got the museum back here as well and a little play area. Hey Lolly! That's Lolly isn't it? Yeah, it's a pleasure to see you again. Though maybe we haven't met before have we? Oh Bon Bon. I love their little nicknames. Sorry about that. I just woke up from the most marvellous dream and I'm still getting my bearings. So cute. So so cute. I love this little play area with a little little bouncy horses and the little trike so we're gonna follow lolly around this way a little bit some more silos so yeah it's very very farm core with the silos and things another little lavender farm go down these steps Oh, we're meeting them all. A new face. Yay. Are you like one of my fans? I mean, of course you are. Be honest. 
is meeting me a dream come true okay it's so as freckles it has to be because you know this is a dream and you're meeting me so there you have it <laughs> so cute okay get out my way another little hit. i love the rat is it rat i don't even know how to say it but i love that furniture as well so so cute we're coming back onto the beach again oh and there's kate oh oh hey <laughs> So we have a little laundromat on the beach. That is so cool. I don't know if I've seen right. Oh, okay, we're back at the airport. Yeah, so we've got a little laundry place on the beach. That's cool. And a little spa. We have little Kato. I'm going to quickly take a little screenshot. Then we have our campsite. I love the little kids tents, absolutely love them. Then more flowers and things on the beach. Oh wow, I love this, love it. Farming, lots of amazing, amazing things. I think I've maybe went the wrong way there, I have. Oh, I'm stuck around the washing line. There we go. There we go, there we go. Honestly, have you seen such an amazing island? Amazing. So much to see, so much to do. More of that. I love that little kettle. So back at resident services here. Have I been up here? Oh wow, a little like bakery. I like this. I love the cakes. Did I say I just love all the island, all the items? Like I just love the items. So many items, so many amazing things to collect and to put out. There's the famous poppy farm. Um, I can remember watching this video on YouTube of her making this. So so nice. Oh. Honestly, this island, this island, I've got no even words for it, I can't even describe it, it's just absolutely beautiful, I think I might be stuck though, no I'm not, <laughs> just so, so beautiful, I think I am stuck, I think I need to jump, jump. So I think I am going to leave it there. If you are inspired to go see this island, then please go check it out. It is absolutely amazing. I've probably missed a few things because, as I say, there is so much on this island to see that I maybe have missed some. But yeah, please go and check it out. Go and show it some love and show Kato some love as well. Go show her, put some love on her videos. Go check out her YouTube. Subscribe to her. And yeah, just honestly she just inspires me every day when it comes to island designing and it's just amazing so thank you for watching i will see you on the next one i hope you've enjoyed this if you would like to see more videos and more island tours then please subscribe and like this video also if you would like me to tour your island then let me know and you can send me over your dream address or we can arrange for me to come visit your island. I would love to do that and build this channel up. So yeah, just 
comment below and let me know but enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you all very soon bye